One of the other regularly overlooked features that exists here in Active Directory is one that can allow you to adjust how your users authenticate to the domain that you've already built. That has to do with what are called user principal name suffixes, or UPN suffixes. I'll show you first over here in Active Directory Users and Computers where they can be configured. Let me pop up here into company-pri, and I'll go to Users and grab my user account here, G Shields. There it is. And if I take a look here under Greg Shields, I can see that Greg Shields actually can log on as company slash G Shields or as G Shields at company.pri. These are the two ways in which I can log on whenever I get that first logon box. Well, sometimes there comes the need to actually adjust what the user logon name should be for people that are logging on through a full UPN suffix here. This can happen, number one, because of a need for a better name. Perhaps you would prefer your users to log on with something.com, whereas your domain is actually something.pri. Perhaps you're making use of Active Directory Federation services and are connecting up to an Office 365 instance, and you want your users to be able to support both your internal namespace and the external namespace that uh, Office 365 supports. Well, in order to do this, either of these or any of the other reasons why, you'll need to create an additional user principal name suffix. And the process first starts by going over here to Active Directory Domains and Trusts and taking a look at the properties not of the domain, but of the actual root up here, the Domains and Trusts root. If I right click over here and I go down here to Properties, you'll see this list of UPN suffixes. And it's here where I can enter in those alternate UPN suffixes. Let's assume, for example, that my domain is company.pri, but my users, they, they just don't understand company.pri. They, they, they don't comprehend it because they're used to be called company.com. Well, wouldn't it be nice if I could reconfigure my users so that their logon would be bob at company.com instead of bob at company.pri because that's what they're used to experiencing. Well, if I want, I can type that in here, company.com, as an alternative UPN suffix right here. Once I accomplish that, once I set that as a possible alternate UPN suffix here in Domains and Trusts, I can come back here to Active Directory Users and Computers and complete the process to adjust each individual username to the new alternate UPN suffix. Now, I do want to actually close this down and relaunch Users and Computers so that it picks up that new UPN suffix. And if I go back to my username down here, Greg Shields, and choose Account, you'll see that I can now switch him from company.pri over to company.com if I want. Again, making things easier for users or aligning my local namespace with a the, 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 the local resolvable namespace with the publicly resolvable namespace if I end up making connections to, for example, Office 365 through Federation services.